The news that gets the tech crowd really excited here in Barcelona is the launch of a new smartphone. And this year, Samsung were putting out two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Galaxy S6. After the speeches, the phones go on display in perfectly lit cases like priceless artefacts. Everyone clearly gets really excited about the launch of new mobile phones like this, but what's really interesting is that with every generation of this technology and the apps that run on these devices, there's more and more encryption and more and more emphasis on security, and that isn't exactly popular with the spooks or some of the politicians. Do we want to allow a means of communication between people which even in extremists with a signed warrant from the Home Secretary personally that we cannot read? And my answer to that question is no, we must not. At this event are many of the world's experts on mobile security and encryption. But one man here could probably claim to be the father of online privacy, Phil Zimmerman, back in the 90s. He took on the American government and won in what were known as the crypto wars. We've come here to find out what he thinks of what David Cameron had to say. And Phil Zimmerman doesn't speak in code. That's just absurd. You know, every time ordinary people just talk face to face, they do it in a way that a court order can't get to. I mean, look, if you and I want to have a private conversation, we could just go out and, you know, go out behind the barn and talk there. Uh, there's no court order that's going to get that. Uh, people have, for thousands of years, had private conversations. Why do we have to sacrifice that? Because now we, you know, now we live in a, in a world that has electronics. Who's watching me? Back in the mid-90s, Phil Zimmerman invented an uncrackable computer cryptography program called Pretty Good Privacy, or PGP. He gave it away for free on the internet. It so appalled the US government that they classified it as a weapon and tried unsuccessfully to prosecute him as an arms dealer. What happened was we won the crypto wars and the NSA did not pursue the matter any further. And I think GCHQ also backed off from that. But that's because the NSA shifted their emphasis to being able to take over your computer. They can inject malware into your computer. And if they do that, it doesn't matter how good the crypto is, they can exfiltrate the cryptographic keys or they can do a keyboard sniffer when you type in your passphrase. They can, they can take over your, your webcam and monitor your conversation in your office. They can do all kinds of things if they can take over your computer. And that's where the intel agencies have, are putting their effort now. That's why Phil Zimmerman's current project is about building smartphones that are impervious to this kind of attack. His company, Silent Circle, is launching two new models in Barcelona this week. So what does he say to the Director General of MI5, Andrew Parker, who's warned that parts of the security services radar are going dark because of technology, making it harder to keep the country safe? From their point of view of wanting to have surveillance, they never had it so good. They now have facial recognition software behind all the millions of cameras in the UK. They have transaction uh, data that they can fuse with that. They can monitor traffic flows with optical character recognition of license plates. They can put all this together with travel records, with where you ate lunch, and they can see everything about everyone all the time. They never had it so good. Just because they can't decrypt the actual content of some kinds of messages or some kinds of phone calls is a very minor blemish on the big picture of what they now have. Plenty's changed over the past two decades. With encryption, we can get our privacy back. But not Phil Zimmerman's core message that privacy is a right that with technology we can secure from intrusion by the state.